A Mexican reporter was fatally shot in Veracruz, Mexico, on March 30, 2020, marking the first assassination of a media member in the country last year. The killing was a grim example of the violent attacks journalists face worldwide. Maria Elena Farrell was exiting a notary office in Papantla, Veracruz, when she was struck multiple times after two men riding on motorcycles fired at her, RSF reported. She was transported to a hospital, where she later died, according to the report. Local journalists protested on the streets of Veracruz, calling for justice following Farrell's death, Arab News reported. Recognized for her coverage of crime and corruption, Farrell was a correspondent for Diario de Jalapa, a newspaper in Jalapa, Veracruz, and a co-founder of the news platform El Quinto Poder, according to One Free Press Coalition. Farrell also wrote a column for a Facebook page called La Palaca Totonaca. In one piece, just days before she died, she informed the public about the murders of mayoral candidates in Gutierrez Zamora, Veracruz, according to the Committee to Protect Journalists CPJ. The late reporter and her daughter even had to obtain security guards in 2016 from the State Commission for the Attention and Protection of Journalists in Veracruz. The guards were revoked the next year by the state's Secretary of Security without informing the commission, according to RSF. Mexico has been established as an extremely dangerous hub for journalists, and as the BBC reported, over 130 journalists have died in the country since 2000. According to One Free Press Coalition, at least five journalists died in the country last year. Insider is covering Maria Elena Farrell's case as part of the One Free Press Coalition, which raises awareness of the world's persecuted journalists.